Welcome to the press conference of Taylor Fritz. First of all, congratulations, Taylor. Mm -hmm. This is your first time to reach Australian Open quarterfinal mm -hmm. and also your first time to beat a top 10 player in a Grand Slam. How happy are you about your performance today? Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. I think uh, start to finish, I played really well. And especially, I'm, I'm super happy about the way I finished it. The last, like, three games of the match, I just, like, really, really... Uh, like turned it on almost like was in a in a trance and everything just felt good I felt like I knew exactly what shot to hit the right decision to make on every ball so it's uh it's great it's it's been a while since I've had that feeling so it's uh gives me a lot of confidence great questions on the floor please uh hello Taylor Cong congratulations a really big win and great game uh one hour before you now Djokovic, your next opponent, said, sit here and he told that he believed that condition here with fast court and slow ball suits you and uh, working well for you. And other thing, he believed that if, if he will play on his level, that he's pretty sure that he will win. Any comment on that? I mean, if I beat someone eight times in a row, I'd be pretty confident playing them too, I have to say. So I can't really fault him for that. Um, I think the conditions here are definitely better for me uh, than maybe U.S. Open or Cincinnati. But I mean, to be honest, the you know the only decent match I've played against him in our last couple meetings was uh, in Turin at the end of 22. And in that match, I served for the second set. It was pretty close. Um, since then, when I've played him, I've played I've played pretty poor I think so I think that uh, uh, I have a lot more uh, level to bring than I've previously b brought against him so hopefully uh, hopefully I can play another match like today I'm assuming this is your best you, you would think of this as like the best Grand Slam match you've ever played I'd, I'd say yeah, I mean, I've played I've played very good Grand Slam matches before, but maybe not against I guess the uh, caliber of player, you know, as as Steph. So yeah, I mean, it, it was start to finish, it was it was extremely high level. That state that you were in, and you know, sort of start to finish your level was really really high. It seemed like you were very locked in. Do you know why that comes sometimes and 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 did you feel did you feel it coming in the warm up or this morning when you got out of bed or like what well i played i played i played well the whole match and i felt that as soon as i i knew that i was going to be playing Steph in this match i just i don't know i i think the the styles match up well for me i think a lot of I guess the game plan for me is stuff that play into my strengths and play into my best shots and play into what I like to do. So I, I felt very, uh, I just felt very relaxed and confident about the match and not really like uptight worried uh, like I can be, like I probably was for all my other matches, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, I had a feeling I was going to play well and then the I guess what happened the last couple of games where I just feel like like super super locked in like where I just am letting the ball go and I feel like I can't miss and I feel like I know what the right shot to hit that's yeah I mean I wish I wish I knew how how to always get into that take away who you're playing in the quarterfinal H how do you feel generally about making it to the this level in the Australian Open for the first time just about the whole tournament I mean I'm I'm happy obviously like it's my other two quarterfinals uh came to me with like you know I was I was seated higher and and draws draws opened up a bit so it feels extra uh extra earned this week and I feel like I really had to you know, play a super high level today, and yeah, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of really good players, and I dropped outside of the the top ten, uh, I think this week, and so or last week, and so it feels really good to kind of uh, earn my spot back, uh, like almost immediately. 
Any other questions? You're obviously a different player than when you first started playing Novak. When you look at him, do you think of him as a different kind of player who's doing different things who you have to prepare for it differently? I think uh, honestly, honestly, I don't think there'll be too much. I mean, he hasn't really had to, as far as playing me, he hasn't really uh, ever had a reason to, to change up what he's doing or, or uh, change strategy because it's it's always it's always gone his way, you know. I think there's people that I've played quite a bit over the years, who I've kind of gone back and forth with. Maybe I win, maybe I lose, and between us, you know, we've made a lot of adjustments to the game plan and changed a lot of things around. But I mean, it's been it's been one sided with Novak, so he hasn't really. I feel like I feel like he's played me pretty much the same every time. Yeah.